And who am I speaking with? John. And just in case we get disconnected, John, what's your number that I can reach you back at? I really like the way when the when it starts, uh, it makes you think of this like the office person, you know, the one who's really cheerful and has all the positive vibes in their cubicle kind of thing with all the little notes. In the gossip parts of the office, uh, um, you can almost see that person as being the annoying person that people don't really like them. Um, but as we pan out and we see that this woman is a one woman army like it it's it's so jarring but it's also like so amazing that she has all that vibe going to like move herself forward and that's just insane what that perspective can do so i have a question and i'll, I'll ask it to everybody i was toying with there being two potentials here either she was a one like she was renting out a cubicle in an office space and running an entire company by herself or she was being downsized in a company that was failing and she was the last oh. employee left. What'd you guys think? I'm not sure. I don't know which answer there is. She's fantasizing. Fantasizing. So a fantasy. Okay. What did you guys think? I thought it was a one woman army. One woman. How many people for the one woman army? I thought she's under the nature. How many well every the whole entire cubicle is closed down, every other cubicle is stacked up and empty. I thought it was super motivating. At first when the movie started I kinda of chuckled because cubicle I don't know it's not really like the dream thing and she's super happy trying to do sales but at the end when it panned out and it was just her I really thought to myself like that's the dream like how do you know in like three years five years ten years she's not going to own this entire enterprise and like it started with just her but maybe she's going to run the whole thing and it just goes to show me like don't give up on like something that you dream of because even if no one else can see it something around you is happening and you can like make it happen. Amazon that's started a garage. Thought. Yeah, so that's what I got. I see from your email address that you already downloaded our white paper on streamlining your business through integrated and cost-effective administration of human resources? I got a totally different view of this. I thought it was actually about depression and like, because at the end she, um, uh, there's a tape recorder. So it looks like it's actually all in her head and yes. there is no real job and there is no real company and this person is like going into the space pretending like this is still going on. That's what I, that's the way I've interpreted it. Yeah. Is that that's, this is actually like the, the, the job no longer exists but she's still going yeah. in and pretending like it, it is there. I thought it was um, like an expression of what, how everybody feels today. Mm -hmm. Very lonely and disconnected from everybody in the workplace because everybody's got their own lives and maybe there are a million people around her, but she's invisible. Oh, that's interesting. She also orders lunch from nobody. <laughs> <laughs> that part. Okay, I saw another hand. So in the beginning, when I when I started, in the beginning, she just took a phone call. So I thought she was just like working in a call center. But at the same time, she started doing so many things that, in a way, I thought this was about the ambition that she's capable of so much more while she's just doing this one job. So that's why she kept switching, and she's one woman army. But so so that's why she sees herself as like someone who can do everything. But Right now, she's just stuck doing this one thing. Maybe that's a call center job, and that's why she's like lonely, and, and because of that. From a production standpoint, anybody notice all the motivational details? Mm -hmm. Like the phone had a taped message over the receiver, just go for it. And her mug was like, three big. It's like she had, she had done that thing that's very common to like build a world that makes success. And whether or not she's actually succeeding when she turns off that fabricated back noise. You don't know. It looks, there are little hints in the dialogue that maybe her, the job she's doing has some flaws in it. But she's working so hard. It's kind of the pinnacle of the American dream, the illusion of the American dream. And there's a lot of heartache there. And also a lot of hope.